Nearly two dozen shots were fired outside a recording studio in South Philly, according to police. They say a sound engineer was hit once, but was able to run to safety. Marcus Espinosa joins us live. And Marcus, today you saw where some of those other bullets ended up. Yeah, Shana, that recording studio that you mentioned is right in front of me, but behind me, you're going to see seven of those bullet shots here that made holes in the back of this door here. This is a laundromat, a working business here in South Philly, and residents are fed up with the violence. Quick walk down an alley in South Philly, you'll see fresh evidence of what residents say life has been like as of late in the area. Fresh bullet holes litter the back door of a local laundromat. It's terrible, man. It's every weekend. You know, these places empty out like 2 or 3 in the morning. It sounds like it's the 4th of July. Philadelphia police reporting that five men in mask fired more than 20 shots at a sound engineer who stepped outside a recording studio early Wednesday morning to get a food delivery. Actually, I seen it this morning and I called my manager right away and I said, did you see what happened out back? She said it was just a matter of time. Amy Tyron works at this dollar store just a few dozen feet from where the laundromat was shot up. She said when she heard about the shooting, it wasn't surprising. She adds it's terrifying way to live and work in a neighborhood she used to consider safe. Yeah, it is completely because like we don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, they said there was five mass guys that came out of there. The victim suffered a single gunshot wound to the leg and is expected to be okay. But for residents in this neighborhood, they say this isn't the half of it. Yeah, come by on the weekend. <laughs> 10 times worse. In his bi-weekly update on crime stats and investigations, Philadelphia police announced there's already been 655 shooting victims this year as of April 24th. That's 30 more than the same time last year. It's not good. Shana, you might remember and the viewers at home might remember I was in this neighborhood a couple weeks ago talking to folks who kept having their cars getting broken into as well as catalytic converters stolen. Well, they planned a 730 meeting for tonight to talk about it for the neighborhood, a, a lifestyle sort of how to keep the neighborhood safe. That that meeting now coming in handy as another violent night in South Philly. So if you'd like to attend, it's at 730 at the EOM Athletic Association here in South Philly. So if you live in this area, you want to put in your two cents about what's going on. Tonight's your chance. Yeah, it's something no one should have to get used to. Thank you, Marcus.